Hi guys and welcome to a new Photoshop tutorial from 99thfloor.tumblr.com. My name is Tark and I'm here to teach you a new way of marking things in Photoshop CS5. I'm pretty sure this function is in CS4. I'm not sure about CS3, never been down that road before. But basically uh, what we're going to look at today is something called quick mask mode. So what you want to do first before I start going into what quick mask mode is, open up Photoshop, whatever version you want to use. I recommend CS5 is pretty much the same as CS4 with some new features, but it's a bit faster and pretty stable. So go ahead and click File. I'll go to Open and I'll find a picture which I want to use. This particular picture is a picture of me and someone I met while I was at work. I don't know if you know this guy. This is Pablo Francisco. It's a pretty famous stand up uh, like comedian. It's pretty awesome. I was really shocked when I saw him, so I just had to take a picture. Um, right, like I said in the previous tutorial, which was about the pen tool and selecting. What I always do with any picture, whatever I work on, is unlocking the background and duplicating it. So to do that, I will hold down my Alt key and double click the background. This will remove the lock and rename it to layer 0. To duplicate the layer, basically hit Command J and you will have a copy. I will shut down this layer beneath, uh, which is like the basic uh, bottom layer, um, Oops, by clicking the I right there. That will shut it off and on. So head back into this layer by clicking it, so it will light up blue, and uh, look at this picture right here. What is it that I want to do? What I want to do is removing the background. I just want a smooth picture of me and Mr. Pablo. So to do that, using the quick mask mode, there's two ways. You can first go down here, and you can see that it says edit in quick mask mode, or you can get it, hit Q. What Q is going to do is just activate it, it's just a shortcut and then you're into quick masking. Now, first, before I go into uh, how to use the quick mask mode, there's a couple of things you can do if uh, you don't get the same result as I do. As you can see right now, if I would click and drag, nothing would happen. Nothing. Just plain nothing. Nothing will be drawn on, nothing will become any color, it's just dead. Now to fix that, quick mask mode works in a certain way. Quick mask mode is basically drawing on where you want things to be selected. You would brush upon the things you want to select. So to do that, first of all, you need to have your foreground color black. Hit the X key to switch be uh, between uh, foreground and background. And if I were to draw now, you see it would become red. So I'm going to go back a step. Another thing you can do if you don't get that result is uh, look up here where the colors tab is. Remember to have your foreground color all the way to the right where it says 100%, that will make it the red color you want. It's going to say black, uh, but the reason is black operates as selecting, and if you would hit X again to switch to colors, white is deselecting and removing the red color. So What you want to do is, one last thing, if you don't get anything up, it might be because you have your move tool on, remember to have the brush, brush set on. So what you want to do is, uh, if I want to select just me and Pablo and remove the background, I would first right click and kick up the hardness to 100%. Also switch to my black as I said, and if I would click now, you see it's dead on red. Now, the reason I want to have the full hardness right now is just selecting the body. This is a pretty easy way. It's just drawing over like that, not as precise, just leaving the edges unselected for now, because I will go in there with the soft brush later on. Now you guys are going to have to do this a bit more precise than me. I'm doing this fast to show you how you can use it. Uh, this is just a quick tutorial as I said. So just go around the picture like that. I would then take down your opacity by 50%. Just go right down there. Get some of the edges. I'm going to show you a little trick with the quick map. No, not a trick. It's basically how it works, but not many people know that. Uh, the good thing about quick mask mode and why you would use it is um, a cool feature which is that you can actually after you selected something you can deselect it by drawing over with another color white. Hit X to switch so the white is your foreground color again and just you see that? The red would disappear just like that. And that means I'm unselecting that. that means I don't want that selected so on the top of Pablo's hat on the corners right there we're just gonna go in again with the black is here. So it's a pretty neat way of selecting things uh, if the elements are pretty big and you just want a pretty 
on precise selection just by doing it fast you can do that as it looks right now it's not really a selection it's just plain red and you can't do anything with it if you go out of quick selection by either clicking the button or hitting Q there you go you got the marching ants right there don't need to do anything more just like that now to check if you have the right selection hit the delete key and you can see if I go command D to deselect that some of the edges right there are pretty feathered and they're pretty bad it's like you can see through my head and see through Pablo's cap so I would go command Z or Z or whatever you want to call it I'll do it once more I'll, I'll command alt uh, to go further back when all set I'll get back to the quick mask mode like that hit the brush go down a size hit the hardness up and I would just go around the edges where you know I know there was something wrong hit the X key to deselect that the X key again to select just go around the corners just like that it's pretty pretty just pretty simple way to do it so I'm just going to do the same down here as you can see I'm not doing a very good job right now I'm using the mouse pad I just wanted to have like a tutorial for you guys so you can look at something during the weekends or your holiday in Norway right now there's winter break so we have a week off so just like that gonna go out of quick mask mode and it's a bit better selection if I go command D there you go me and Pablo only me and him uh, nothing in the background it's a pretty simple way of selecting um, so yeah that was the quick mask mode so thanks you thank you guys a lot for watching Please leave a comment below. It helps me make more videos and get more views. Uh, so basically more people can watch and we can support each other in that way. Hit the thumbs up button. Hit the subscribe button if you want to see more of my tutorials. I'll try to post one or two tutorials a week. It's just my schedule is a bit tough. I'm working on some logos for some friends and some companies. Um, so my schedule is a bit tight. But, you know, I want to do everything for you guys out there so you guys can learn it as well. So thank you for watching this tutorial. This has been Tarek from 99floor.tumblr.com. Hit the website down below. Peace out, guys.